When you want a strong, reliable boom arm to hold your ridiculously heavy microphone, what's the next thing you buy? How about the actual boom arm meant to hold that microphone in a box that looks like an obelisk meant to herald the end of time? This is the Rode PSA-1 Studio Arm. It's a mic stand, folks. And because there's no way for me to fit this entire thing in frame vertically, I'm going to do this. So I'd been using a generic microphone boom arm for several months. It did fine with lighter microphones, but if you saw my Rode Procaster unboxing video, you'll know that that is one very heavy microphone. So I needed a better boom arm, and this one was tailor-made by Rode to handle mics like the Procaster. So on the front of the box, you see the studio arm, you see a mic and a shock mount, both of which are not included in this package, but hey, the mic looks an awful lot like a Procaster, so good sign. It also looks like you get some road emblazoned straps to hold your mic cable neatly in place. Nice. On the side, you've got a description of what's included and what it can do. A cool feature of this boom arm is that you get two different options for how you install it. I'll be choosing whichever one is easiest. This is a big item, folks. It's somewhat heavy, it barely fits in frame, yet somehow I've got to take it out of the box. So where do I begin? Presumably, that is the point of access. I wonder if I'll even need my trusty unboxing knife. Here we go. Okay, laying it down again because I apparently can't film vertical things. Okay, it's stuck. It's stuck, folks. All right, I did it. Okay, it took some doing, but I have extricated the box from its box. Time to open the box. I'm taking stuff out. Sorry if this isn't the most elegant unboxing video, folks, but this thing is proving to be difficult to film and unbox at the same time, as you can see. Actually, when you take the box away, it's really not so bad. But that's all the stuff that I dumped out of the box, except the knife, the knife is mine. But we've got the PSA1 instruction manual, a mystery cube, a mystery bag, a larger mystery bag, and a little mystery bag that has an adapter in it. One mystery solved. Over here we have what I can only assume is the desk clamp to hold the microphone stand in place. That's one mounting option. Very nice. Let's look at the mystery cube. Inside the mystery cube is a mystery bag, including what I believe is the hardware needed if you were to drill a hole and permanently fix your studio arm in place. I will not be doing that, but that's mounting option number two. All right, great. Another component that almost totally fills the frame. I really need to stick to unboxing smaller items. But hey, at least I found a place to use my unboxing knife of unbagging, apparently. So, getting rid of the bubble wrap, getting rid of this foam bumper thing. Caution. Spring loaded. So as I cut through the caution sign, it dawns on me that I somehow have to close my unboxing knife with one hand while not letting go of this mechanism thing, or we could potentially have a spring-loaded flying knife situation. So we have all these wonderful components. Time to put them together. And that means using the Rode PSA-1 instruction manual. So as I said, there's a couple of different options for installing the boom arm. I'm probably going to go with this option because the other one involves drilling a hole. I have enough trouble opening large boxes, folks. You really don't want me using a power tool. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, fix it to the side of a desk, and I'm going to tighten it until it's secure and won't be going anywhere. By the way, if you enjoy watching me awkwardly stagger my way through this kind of thing, like and subscribe. Why not? So at this point, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the boom arm and place it into the mount. I'm turning it for some reason. I don't know if this is actually doing anything. Is it getting tighter? Is it not? I don't know. But it sure is fun. No, it's doing nothing. Maybe it just stays in place through gravity. So there's not much else to say. Once I got the boom arm properly set up, it did a fantastic job of holding my microphone. The cable straps are a nice touch, and the whole thing just looks awesome. I've been using this boom arm for a few months now, and I gotta say, it's doing exactly what I needed it to do. Hold my heavy mic aloft, and make recording voiceover for these unboxing videos just a little bit easier. The Rode PSA-1 Studio Arm.